I have demonstrated in my videos that I myself am quite capable of killing anybody on this planet anytime I want. So why do they provoke me? Is it to keep you safe? Why do the bankers invest in the pharmaceutical companies and not in the companies that would save minority lives? For example, companies that um, research malaria and AIDS research. You know, when they say they have the cure for AIDS and they're covering it up, um, that statement may not be true in itself. But what is true is the allocations of funds by the white power structure to further their agenda. If you think like them, they'll invest in you. If you bootlick to them, they'll invest in you. If you're a black revolutionary, they won't invest in you. So I call for boycotting all the New World Order's products. And I call for armed resistance. In the case of... any further injustices against the black community. Um, I, I found that only when we speak out, while we still have the sentiment of some of the European Americans and some of the other races, we need to speak up for our race before all of our rights get forgotten and they use food and war and the war on terror as an excuse to take all of our rights away and take, send protesters to the holding tanks and makeshift holding tanks and psych wards and build more psych wards and prisons and more makeshift tanks and more FEMA camps for whatever they're used for. I'm not going to pretend I know what they're used for. But knowing the government and being in Navy SEAL psych operations myself, reading about the Stanford experiment, reading about the experiments in Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, in um, South Africa, reading about how the French did all of the people, you know, read about Charles de Gaulle and all these horrible, horrible people and all the horrible things they did. You have to understand that people like Hannibal, people like Napoleon, these were horrible people who stole the ideas from ancient Egyptians who were black, and we all know that. I'm not going to get into that in this video. I've already beat that to death and proved to the world that it's the case, and I just gave you the chart with the R1B, and I showed you the migration. Yes, you know, I studied human migration for about three years now, and I'm tired of it. I'd rather just stick to history and religion, and that's about it. Thank you.